Today is the day that we find out which is the best smooth skin video effect plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've been on my channel for a while, I have covered three skin smoothing video plugins that you can use for your video projects. They are Beauty Box, Imaginomic Video Suite, and Magic Bullet Cosmo 2. We will be comparing them side by side and determine their ease of use and which effect does it the best straight out of the box. So with that being said, let's jump straight into Premiere Pro. So we have our first example right here. So I made four groups here. A before and after for each plugin. And a side by side comparison of all three. So let's apply the effect on each of the clips. Note that the effects are all on its default settings. I will not be changing any of them. But I will be manually targeting the skin selection for both Imaginomic and Cosmo 2. As for Beauty Box, it does the skin selection automatically. Alright, I'm done applying the effects. Let's render it. And let's play it on full screen. This is the original clip. This is with Beauty Box. This is the original clip. This is with Imaginomic Video Suite. This is the original clip. This is with Cosmo 2. And here are the three plugins side by side. Let's play that again. So which plugin do you think did a great job straight out of the box? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let's select a frame and play it in full screen so we can see the difference. So what about now? Which one looks the best? Did you notice the yellow color shift on Cosmo 2? On this round, I think the winner is Beauty Box. Look at the model's forehead. It is smoother than Imaginomic and Cosmo 2. Let's move on to the next example. Again, we apply the effects on each clip. We drag Beauty Box right here, Imaginomic right here, then we show the mask, click Calculate Mask, then hide the mask again. Next is we drag Cosmo 2 to this clip and use the eyedropper tool to select a skin sample. Then we apply the same effects to the rest of the clips right here. I will just fast forward this step. Then we render it. Okay, let's have a look. This is with Beauty Box. This is with Imaginomic. And this is with Cosmo 2. And here they are side by side. Let's go back and select a frame and compare the three. So which plugin did it the best on this example? In my opinion, Imaginomic wins this round. But I want to know what you think, so comment down below. We now go to another example. This one is an extreme close-up shot of a woman. Again, I will apply the default effect for each plugin. Let me fast forward this step as well. Then render it. Okay, let's play it on full screen and see the difference. This is Beauty Box. This is Imaginomic. And this is Cosmo 2.
and here is all three. Let's go back and pull a freeze frame and have a closer look. So in this clip, which plugin did a good job? Again, I think Imaginomic wins here. Take a look at the nose and the forehead. Please note that this is just my personal preference and we all have our own taste. This is still highly subjective. Now let's try the plugins on a different skin tone. Again, we repeat the same process. Now, I don't want to bore you so let's fast forward this step. Okay, let's play it on full screen. This is Beauty Box. This is Imaginomic. And this is Cosmo 2. And here is a side by side look. Let's select a frame and look at it closer. Okay, in this clip, I think all three did pretty well. I call this a draw. Let me show you a few more comparisons so we can finally decide which plugin works the best straight out of the box. And let me pull up a freeze frame so we can take a look. Which one do you think did the best? Put a note on that thought. And here is our last example. And take a look at this frozen frame. So what do you think? Which plugin is right for you? In my opinion, I like the ease of use and natural look of Beauty Box. You just drag the effect on the clip, and it does the skin smoothing automatically. Of course, you can still tweak it if you want to. As for Imaginomic, it requires additional steps of selecting the skin and applying the mask, but it does a pretty good job as well. Same goes with Cosmo 2, where you also need to take a skin sample to guide the plugin which targeted area it should apply the skin smoothing. All these plugins have its pros and cons. You have to consider its ease of use, the smooth skin effect, and most especially, the price. But I think you will never go wrong with any one of them. Just use them wisely and do not overdo it. That is all for today's video. If you have questions or suggestions about any of these plugins, comment down below and I'll get back to you with an answer. Feel free to watch the videos I made for each plugin so you can have a deeper understanding on how each plugin works. I'll post a link to those videos down under the description. As always, my name is Omar. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.